The month of October is American Pharmacists Month, a time to celebrate our pharmacists. We really appreciate our team of dedicated pharmacists who continually improve patient safety and help our clients ensure quality care for injured workers while reducing the total cost of care. They are integral to Healthy Systems clinical program and a valuable asset to our clients. Let's explore a little pharmacy history to see just how far this practice area has come. From apothecary to technology, like Healthy Systems ABM PBM software, pharmacy has made leaps and bounds over the years. The earliest known record of compounded medicine is found in the Sushutra Samhita, a classical Sanskrit text on surgery and one of the three foundational texts of Ayurveda, or Indian traditional medicine, that dates as early as the 6th century BC. Apothecaries were the predecessors of the modern pharmacy. The world's oldest prescriptions can be traced all the way back to 2400 BCE. These were recorded on clay tablets by the Mesopotamians, now Iraq, Syria, and southern Turkey, and described methods for making poultices, salves, and washes. Over the centuries, apothecaries continued to develop formulas with a range of preparations and natural ingredients, specializing in herbal science and chemistry to create all sorts of remedies, albeit with mixed results. By the early 17th century, Western society had created its first pharmacist guild, and those apothecaries played a central role as healthcare providers. In 1729, Irish immigrant Christopher Marshall opened one of the United States' first apothecaries in Philadelphia. His granddaughter, Elizabeth Gooking Greenleaf, would later become the first female pharmacist in the United States. In 1804, the state of Louisiana passed a law that required a licensing examination for pharmacists wishing to practice their profession. Prior to this law, a person could apprentice for six months and then compound and sell his or her own concoctions without any regulations or standards. As a consequence, the public often received incorrect doses and erroneous medications. Following this requirement, the first licensed apothecary in the United States was Louis-Joseph Dufillot of New Orleans in 1816. The United States Pharmacopoeia, a system of standardization, was created in 1820. This gave pharmacists a widely accepted reference manual to guide their work. The American Pharmaceutical Association was founded on October 6, 1852 and continues to advance the pharmacy profession, including pharmacists, pharmaceutical scientists, student pharmacists, and pharmacy technicians. The American Pharmaceutical Association in 1888 developed the National Formulary that provided pharmacists with a standardized description, composition, method of preparation, and dosage for drugs. In 1954, the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy, AACP, approves a proposal requiring the completion of five years of academic training to earn a degree in pharmacy. Innovations in technology improve patient care and dispensing of pharmaceuticals. In 2002, Ron Roma founded Healthy Systems to address the many challenges and complexities facing workers' compensation insurance payers and pharmacy benefit management. By 2003, Healthy Systems Pharmacy Benefit Management Program created an industry-unique and innovative infrastructure to address the challenges of managing workers' comp prescription drug utilization. In 2005, Healthy Systems Clinical Infrastructure underwent a significant expansion, adding direct prescriber outreach and other targeted interventions we are known for today through our clinically-driven platform as well as our hands-on pharmacist staff. By 2007, over 5 million transactions had been processed through Healthy Systems technology, highlighting the scalable infrastructure which is capable of handling high claim volume while delivering service excellence. With the rollout in 2019 of MedMatters, a direct pharmacist to patient communication channel, injured workers gain a better understanding of their medication regimen and help identify any treatment-related concerns and Healthy Systems continues its legacy as a clinical leader in the workers' comp PBM space. As you can see, pharmacists have become an integral part of modern healthcare. They help to provide coordinated care through advancements in technology and pharmacology that hold a lot of promise in treating major illnesses and disorders and ensuring best practices in prescribing. We are thankful for our team of dedicated pharmacists and wish them a happy Pharmacists Month.